Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all are well and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to show you the exact products that I used to clear my rosacea. Before I start this video, I'd like to give you a brief history about my skin. I've been suffering from rosacea for the last 15 years. It started with slight redness on my cheeks, chin and nose and then it got worse and later it turned out to be acne rosacea. I had lots of flakiness on my skin, like my skin was literally peeling off. I had a zero skin barrier my skin was very sensitive I went to see lots of doctors dermatologists they only prescribed me topical ointment which actually wasn't a great help for me if you want to know more about my skin history then please do watch my skincare journey where I have talked in that there are lots of pictures and video today I'm filming in natural lighting the Sun is out and the reason I decided to film in natural lighting is so that you can see my real skin also in skincare journey video all the skin video that I posted there was was filmed in natural lighting when we use artificial lighting the skin can look much more different than uh, what it is naturally so let's start this video I'm gonna talk about the four steps first is cleansing second is face masking third is exfoliation and then the last one is moisturizer and also I'm gonna talk about SPF because a lot of you were asking about it oh my god I just realized I forgot to introduce myself my name is Sarita I do mostly like fashion content story time I've started doing skincare as well Life style vlogs travel vlogs if you like that sort of content then please feel free to subscribe my channel I would love to have you on board let's start with the first step cleansing the cleansing I've been using since 2004 is this one I absolutely love this one this one is from Garnier and it is their soothing cleansing milk it's for dry and sensitive skin it is a vegan one I try not to use products with fragrance however this has got fragrance but it doesn't break me out this is the one I use to remove makeup also I've stopped using face wash it was not doing much to be honest it was actually stripping the oils and made it drier so I've not used one for the last five six years it's been a long time and whenever I didn't use makeup I would just use cold water to wash my face that really helped me I saw a lot of difference when I stopped using face wash and sometimes if I felt like I really needed to clean my face then I would actually go with this one even when I'm not wearing makeup this is how it looks I've taken that much and I'm gonna apply that all over my face like that and I like to massage my face really well always in upward direction because the gravity is already pulling our face down so that is what I do and that has to prevent wrinkles I really believe in a good facial massage because it helps with blood circulation also it relaxes the facial muscle I'm gonna put a little bit of water because when it gets drier you just need to add a little bit of water and then massage your skin again really well even the eye area this takes off makeup really well this is a very gentle to the skin I can smell like a rose because it has got like rose water in it even though it has got that fragrance it is really good to my skin I'm gonna use this bamboo cotton pad which is reusable I used to use the normal standard cotton pad and I was wasting a lot of money on that and it's not good for environment as well hence I went with this one I'll link this down below on the description box everything I use today here or talk about I'll link everything on the description box so that it will be easier for you guys to shop also it comes with this little pouch so basically when I'm done with using this I'll just put that in this little pouch and then it just goes in my washing machine it's very easy to wash as well and it's great you know like good for sensitive skin so I'm gonna put this under water so that it's damp so now it's damp and I'm gonna wipe this off my face was bare face so I don't have any makeup at all so I go like this on my eyes as well on here as well my face is a little bit red after that massage so pleased with the weather today it's such a lovely weather like it's cold but it's still like sunny that's done you can see there's no dirt here that is good now next step I'm gonna move on is with face marks this is the only face marks I used when I was suffering from rosacea I stopped using the sheet marks even the Korean one because it had a lot of fragrance it was breaking me out really bad I wanted something that would calm my skin down first and I wanted something very hydrating hence the reason I decided to go with yogurt so this is the one I use you can use any brand this is a plain Greek yogurt and I'm gonna take Take like a small spoon that spoon which will be enough for my face and neck so that much 
yogurt has got like lactic acid and it has got zinc in it which helps to dissolve like dead skin cells which is on our top layer so this top layer which you can see is called epidermis and the layer underneath is called dermis when i was breaking out i had a lot of flakiness but my skin was very dry and yogurt really helped me with hydration i found yogurt very soothing to my skin it really calmed my skin it got rid of the flakiness yogurt is also a form of aha AHA is alpha hydroxy acid when i applied yogurt on my face my skin instantly loved it and then i decided to add green tea i'm just using this one here which is a normal green tea this one is from tedley you can use any one this is a pure green tea so i take one tea bag i'm going to use all of this you can use this soaked one as well i'm going to tear that off and pop that in here with yogurt so i'm going to mix that with my spoon green tea has antioxidants it is like really good for skin it reduces inflammation and my skin was honestly inflamed i needed this also what i was doing at the same time was i was also drinking green tea every day which really helped my skin to clear when i was drinking green tea i added mint leaves in it because when i went traveling to morocco they served us mint tea which i've never had it before but while i was there i realized my skin was clearing up and i knew like it was to do with that tea so when i came back from traveling i started drinking green tea with mint in it which is like my staple drink i have that every day and that really helped with my metabolism as well and to clear my skin i'm gonna apply this on my skin i was applying this every day seven days a week for 30 minutes if you have dry skin then i suggest don't let this dry on your face however if you have oily skin or combination skin you can leave it until it's dry i'm using my hands to put this all over my face uh, you can go with a face brush as well however i prefer to do with my hands and i'm gonna leave my eye area not gonna go over there it feels so great i can already feel like how amazing it feels and it doesn't smell like foul i love the smell of this the smell of yogurt and drink is so pleasant whenever i put this on my face i love the feeling especially you know this yogurt is quite cool so yeah it's like really soothing to my skin Skin. I also used aloe vera at one point because a lot of people were saying aloe vera is so good for skin. It instantly made my skin irritated. It was all red. I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes and come back and show you in a bit. Hello everyone, I'm back. So I'm going to wash off my face. You can use muslin towel to take this off. However, I like to wash my face and that's what I'm going to do off camera and then come back again. So let me show you how it is looking right now. This is how it is looking. All right, I've just washed my face with water and you can see my face is still wet. Next thing I'm going to do is pat that water into my skin like this. I don't use towel that we keep in the bathroom. The temperature changes all the time. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, and sometimes it's very steamy. The bathroom is a breeding ground for bacteria, hence the reason I don't use towel. And you won't believe like when I'm patting this into my skin, it gives my skin a little bit hydration. If you want to use towel, go ahead, but don't keep in your bathroom. And little things like this, I'm not using towel or face wash really help my skin also it is important to think about what to eat i'm going to do a separate video on what i avoid food wise because that can really affect your skin when it comes to like drinking water i have always been a person who drinks a lot of water however that didn't clear my skin now i'm going to move on to exfoliation there are two ways you can exfoliate your skin physical or chemical exfoliation i used to do physical one like scrubs which i had been using for years and when I had a rosacea, I wasn't able to get rid of the dead skin cells. Hence, there was like so much flakiness on top. And because of that, I didn't think products were penetrating deep into my dermis. I used to scrub my face. And you guys know like scrub has got like small granules. I was literally scrubbing really hard to get rid of those flakiness. It 
aggravated my skin even more whenever i am done with scrubbing my face would be all red the problem with the scrub is if you actually put too much pressure that can actually uh, break your skin after a realization i decided to move to chemical exfoliant and when i did research i found like chemical exfoliant is really good for skin it does not just clear the top layer of skin it just goes inside the dermis as well which is exactly what i needed so i went with this one paula's choice calm range this one is one percent bha bha is better hydroxy acid i used to be scared of acids before because i always had this feeling acid will you know ruin my skin however after a lot of research i realized this is actually good for skin and it is very gentle as well i have used there another one like two percent bha that doesn't agree with my skin if your skin is very sensitive like mine say if you suffer from acne rosacea then i would recommend to go with this one their calm range this is for all skin types this says it minimizes pore and smooth skin i didn't see much difference in my pores however it did smooth my skin this is the one that really helped with my irritation as well as flakiness so i'm going to take two pumps of that here and then i'm going to apply that all over my skin this has oopsie got no fragrance in it no essential oil and it has got green tea extract which minimizes irritation and my skin was very irritated at that time after i actually used this product you know what happened my skin started to break out even more i basically had skin purging meaning all the breakouts that were supposed to happen in the future it actually brought it immediately after using this product i had a really bad purging for about almost like three weeks so i'm gonna go on my neck as well it's very common to have skin purging you have to be patient and for the product to work it can take up to a month this really helped to get rid of dead skin cells i was using this about five days a week however they recommend using three to four days a week nowadays i apply three days a week this is the only acid i use a bha i don't use aha the only form of aha i use is that yogurt i have tried glycolic acid but it doesn't work for me also that exfoliant i talked about i've been using for the last five years and all of this product i'm still using this till this day now next bit i'm going to to move on to moisturizing and this is the only moisturizer i use and i have been using since last five six years this is from la roche posay and it is called sisaplast b5 this has got balm consistency quite a thick moisturizer however it's not like really oily also i forgot to say after using green tea and yogurt face masks my skin is a little bit oily because of the yogurt even though i've washed my face it just leaves a little bit of oiliness behind which i love because i have dry skin and it works out great for me this one has got panthenol in it which is also referred as a vitamin b5 panthenol has got like two ingredients it has got humectant humectant binds the water and hydrates the skin so it stops trans epidermal water loss let me talk about trans epidermal water loss because you must be thinking what the hell is this for instance if you are indoors and if you are using radiators that can lead you to lose water from your body so that is called trans epidermal water loss anyway let's uh, apply this is on my skin this is like a multi-purpose cream it is quite thick it's not sticky at all because some of the moisturizer are quite thick and very sticky this one you can use on babies as well also like on insect bites sunburn if you have done chemical peel and if you had irritation from that you can use that as well this is such a good cream for a skin barrier my skin had zero barrier before i started using this one this is so great like it calmed my skin as well as it really helped with flakiness so when i had skin purging with that bha i was using i would apply this one to calm my skin while that product was breaking me out this moisturizer was calming my skin also another thing when you apply products please let that product sit for a bit so that it sinks into your skin which i was not doing for a while to be honest which i realized much later i was applying products on top of one another really quickly the panthenol ingredient also acts as emollient it smooths the skin which is what it did to my skin it is non comedogenic moisturizer meaning it doesn't block the pores if the moisturizer is blocking the pores then you might have a lot of breakout now we are moving on to spf which a lot of people were asking me which spf i use i use this one from Paula's choice broad spectrum spf 50 basically this is for all skin types this is for face and body and this has got antioxidants in it it has got 80 minutes water resistant if you are into like sports 
weekends you do a lot of outdoor activities this is great for you what i really like about this one is it has no white cast it is broad spectrum meaning that it actually blocks both uv and uvb rays with rosacea we are very sensitive to light so we have to wear spf every day actually everybody needs to wear spf every day i'm going to put a little bit on my ears as well because the sun hits over there as well even if it's not a sunny day i always put spf on my skin it works well with makeup i really love this this is such a great product to have these are all the products i use these were the products that changed my skin it worked really really well for my skin apart from these four products i didn't use anything i was under no medication i was not even using any topical creams it took me about three to four months for my skin to get this clear so it takes a time be patient also please don't forget to watch my skincare journey video where i've shown you all the pictures of recovery process as well as when i had breakup there's so much information out there if you like this video then please give thumbs up share this video and subscribe my channel that is it for today thank you so much and i'm going to come back with my morning skincare as well as my night skincare routine very soon so please make sure that you guys subscribe my channel till then take care have a good day bye